क्लास एट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर थ्री मेजरमेंट व्हाट इज मीटर नाउ वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज मीटर वन पार्ट ऑफ वन क्रोर पार्ट्स ऑफ द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ पोल टू द इक्वेटर लाइन अलॉन्ग लॉन्जिट्यूड ओवर पेरिस इज कंसीडर्ड as 1 meter if we consider this picture is as earth and this is the north pole and this is the south pole north pole and south pole and at the middle there is a line imaginary line that's name is equator line in the middle if we see or watch this map we can say that this line is the line equator and this line is the line from the north pole to the line equator and if we divide this line or uh, this line over paris if we divide this line into one crore part then it will be 1 meter so one part of uh, one crore parts of the distance from the north pole to the equator line along the longitude of our paris is considered as 1 meter now we will learn what is liter pure water in 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 that means 1000 cubic centimeter is 1 liter that means if we observe this picture we can say see that uh, the length is 10 centimeter breadth is also 10 centimeter and height is also 10 centimeter that means the volume of this uh, uh, pot is 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 that means 1000 cubic centimeter if we pour pure water into this pot uh, we will get 1 liter water and now we will learn what is gram it's very easier gram is one part out of 1000 part of uh, of 1 kg If we divide one kg into one thousand parts, we can get each part as gram. So, the short form of kilogram is kg. K for kilo and g for gram. Kilogram. And here we can see, you know, we can see a weight of one kg. This type of weight is used in shop or grocery shop. or any other shops and in this picture we can say we can see a standard of 1 kg weight made up platinum iridium preserved in safe a uh, platinum iridium is very valuable or it is more more valuable than gold platinum iridium is more valuable than gold and uh, this part and the weight of this part is only 1 kg and it is preserved as the as a standard of 1 kg weight made of platinum iridium preserved in safe in museum in this picture we can uh, see si or system international multiples of a gram or g that means if we consider a uh, decigram centigram milligram that means gradually it is decreasing decreasing decigram uh, uh, and centigram decigram to centigram centigram is smaller than decigram and if we divide centigram we will get milligram and if we uh, divide milligram then gradually we can say my, uh, microgram and then smaller nanogram and then more smaller picogram femtogram atogram jeptogram and yoktogram 
we can't see ectogram, jectogram, atogram, or femtogram, picogram, nanogram in our bare eyes because these are very small or smaller or the smallest particle of things. And in the left, uh, right column, we can see decagram, hectogram, kilogram, megagram, or ton, a gigagram, teragram, petagram, hexagram, jetagram, and iotagram. That means gradually the weight is increasing from decagram, hectogram, kilogram, uh, like this. So we will learn about this in our later classes. When is metric system started? We can say it is in the last part of 18th century. Where is metric system started? Where is metric system started? We know that metric system started in France. In France. And this country is France near Spain or Italy. Germany, Belgium, or United Kingdom, uh, or near the uh, English Channel, this country is located. Okay. When is metric system started in Bangladesh? We know that it is 1st July 1982. 1982. When is System International? Our SI system started in all over the world. We know that SI system, SI or System International started after 200 years of metric system. Milli, centi and deci are the prefixes of dash language. We know that milli, centi, deci are prefixes of Latin language, Latin language. In this picture, we can uh, see some shape of Latin alphabets. A, B, or uh, it's uh, Z, D, E. There are some similarities between English and Latin alphabets. And Latin alphabet, the shape of Latin alphabet is very different from the shape of uh, English alphabet. Next question, deca, hecto, and kilo are the prefixes of dash language. We know that deca, hecto, and kilo are the prefixes of a Greek language. Yes, it, this is, these are the prefixes of Greek language. And in this picture, we can see, uh, we can observe some uh, Greek alphabets. And uh, here we can see alpha is the first letter. And then beta, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, uh, epsilon, epsilon, zeta, etc. Eta, theta, and uh, at last, this is omega. And pi is our very familiar, uh, familiar uh, letter of Greek, Greek alphabet. And the last uh, letter of Greek alphabet is omega. And first one is alpha. Uh, it is mentioned that we uh, say A, B, C, D as alphabet, alphabet, and the word alphabet is derived or comes from uh, alphabet, from the words alphabet. Okay. What does mili means in Latin? What does mili means in Latin? One thousand. One thousand. What does centi means? Centi means in Latin one hundred. What does deci mean in Latin? Deci mean means one tenth. One tenth. That means one out of ten. And here, what does deca mean in Greek? Deca means ten times. Deca means 10 times. What does hecto means in Greek? Hecto means one, uh, 100 times. That means 100 times. 
What does kilo means in Greek? Kilo means thousand times. That means one thousand times. In which year is System International or SI started? In 1960. What are the basic units of metric system? What are the basic units? of metric system the basic units of metric system are cgs cgs that means centimeter gram and second centimeter gram and second we use uh, the unit c or cm to measure length and gram to measure uh, weight and second is used to measure time and this uh, CGS is the basic unit of metric system. What are the basic unit of SI or System International? The basic unit of System International is MKS. MKS that means meter, kg or se and second. Meter, kg and second. You can subscribe our channel, like, comment and share.